Hi, I'm Toshi Maeda, and welcome back to J Stories, where ideas and technology from Japan help solve global, social, and environmental problems. Here's a quick look at this week's J Stories. Most Japanese household garbage is separated into three main categories combustibles, non combustibles, and recyclable. But residents in one Japanese city are separating food waste from other combustibles to use as a biomass fuel for electricity generation. Toyohashi City's Biomass Utilization Center produces its energy using food waste and sewage. By fermenting this mixture, methane is produced, which is burned to generate electricity. The only other byproduct is carbon pellets. The city has worked hard to get residents involved in the project, holding over 500 meetings to explain the benefits of separating out food waste. The city says the facility produces enough energy to power nearly 2,000 homes and is the largest of its kind in Japan. In recent years, many people have come from overseas to work in Japan. But often, their children can struggle at local schools because they don't understand Japanese. Amid the shortage of qualified Japanese language teachers, a Toko NGO is helping out. The group, called SFCs, short for Supporting Foreign Children to Attend School, has launched a program called 100 Hours of Japanese Lessons. It gives children the language skills to make friends with their Japanese classmates and equips them to better understand classes at Japanese elementary school. The NGO hopes this will prevent children from dropping out and becoming excluded from society. The group says the first five students from India and Vietnam have already completed 80 hours and are happy with their language progress. That's all for this week from JStories. Please visit our website at jstories.media for more details on these stories. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more solutions and inspirations from Japan.